Jesus. Nigeria will not die. Nigeria will not, will not be buried. Nigeria will not be terminated. Nigerians will never become slaves. Nigerians will never be put to the high ground. We will make it in Nigeria. We will be prosperous in Nigeria. Our schools will not be useless. Our schools will receive revival. Our schools will begin to do well. Everything in Nigeria will begin to do well. As you are visiting today, my brother and my sister, always ask for the will of God. That's the message for today. And as you ask, for those things are not mentioned, you should know that in all things, you should ask for the will of God. In your eating, before you eat, dedicate it to God and ask for God's will. And what is God's will? As I eat this food, brother, may it uh, make me healthy. Every uh, dead cell in my life, may it be rejuvenate. May all the things and the nutrients in the food enter my body and make my body look fresh and young. Now do you know that? You know that what? 40 you look 20. Because you ask for the will of God in the food that you eat. When you drink water, but as I'm drinking this water, I'm drinking the blood of Jesus. This water is the blood of Jesus, so it will make me look beautiful. It will make me draw me closer to God. It will make me uh, 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 your saint. It will make me the way you want me to be. And that's the will of God. In all things, that's what God will do. And above all, do you know what I mean? That's the will of God. You give God respect. Because He's your own and He's your maker. When you ignore God, you disrespect God. When you ignore God, you look down on God. When you ignore God, you make it look as if He did not create you. But when you honor God, you don't know Oh, my Father. Thank you, this market, I got to die, do well. Hey, I got sell well, though, you have invited God into your mouth. And you are going, hey, God, I thank you, oh, I sell the deal. I know that tomorrow I go sell back today. I know that you do well for me. I know that tomorrow I go sell back today. You have invited God into your life, into your business. Do the will of God. Ask for the will of God. And always do what the Bible says you should do. And as you do what the Bible says you should do, from Genesis to Revelation, anything that connects you to God in the Bible, continue doing it, and it will go with you in Jesus' name we pray. I have seen Lord goodness in deeds and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. A market, we have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercy and compassion. We are seeing the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are Isaiah ministry. We are in denomination. Every church has got to Isaiah ministry. Yeah, it's redeemed. Planting of fire. Um, Christ Embassy. Salvation ministries. Different ministries gathered in Isaiah ministry. What is our aim? The vision of our Nigeria coordinator is winning souls, telling the people about God, telling them that God loves them, telling them about the will of God concerning them, because so many people do not know. So many people were not taught by their parents, so many people were not taught by their loved ones, so many people were not taught people in the church. Sometimes if you go to church, you know they even concentrate. You know they press you on the book. You know they hear the word of God. But as we go into a better market today, we know that some of you are going about the will of God. I said about the will of God. So, we are Isaiah ministry, like I said. We are in the orphanages. We go to orphanages. We go to correctional homes. We go to um, um, you know, different places where they need to hear the word of God. But schools, correctional homes. We go to hospitals, yes. We go to hospitals. And when we go to the hospital, we pray for the sick. We are Isaiah ministry. And now, above oh, all, we do evangelism. We are 16 years. In November this year, we will be 16 years. And we are going to some other states in Nigeria. God has been faithful to Isaiah ministry. And that's why we come out to tell you about his faithfulness. And he's so faithful in Isaiah ministry that everybody that is in Isaiah ministry 
has no choice but to preach the faithfulness of God. As you are listening today, the word of God will bear fruit in you in Jesus' name. You will be blessed beyond expectation. You will say about that you have never sold in a long time. The power of God will come upon you. And impossibilities will become possible in the name of Jesus. Above all, as you have heard the word today, the word you have heard today will draw you closer to God. Draw you closer. Draw you closer. Draw you closer to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the Ancient of Days. And then, in the thought of the new big roads, P2C, 